Hi, it's Alicia here with March Wellness. I'm gonna demonstrate a basic workout circuit. I'm gonna use two water bottles. You could use your imaginary weights, or if you have weights, use your weights. All right, here it goes. We're gonna warm up first. All right, let's go ahead and march. Tighten the core, lift the chest, pump those arms, 90 degree angle. If you're feeling really spunky, you could have a little hop. My floor squeaks, so I'm gonna keep it the real low impact version. As I'm walking right here, I'm I mean, as I'm marching, I'm going to demonstrate a few of the exercises that we're going to do. I'm going to use those water bubbles, but you can even do them without. We're going to squat, curl, press. First exercise, second reverse fly. We'll do some jacks, tricep kickbacks, rows, and then finishing off with a straight leg deadlift with an external rotation. So that's our basic uh, workout that we're going to run through. And um, marching right now, just demonstrating, we're warming up. Let's do some body weight squats. Sit back, squeeze those glutes, lay down, come up and squeeze. Now when you're running through the exercise, you could do the workout video with me or you could do it on your own. You could do 10 reps of every exercise or maybe 30 seconds. So let's do four more, three, two, one. All right, still warming up. Let's go ahead and squat, kick, row. Getting down low if you want, coming up, rowing. This is still the warm up. Or you can stay high, do some glute kicks with the row, or you could do jogging glute kicks. All right, how are we doing? We feeling good? Are you excited about this quick little basic workout? Won't take long. All right, let's warm up those hamstrings. Let's do some windmills. Reach down, up, all the way up. This is an oldie but a goodie. Good afternoon hamstrings, oh yeah. All right, increase the circulation again with the uh, jacks. It can be jumping jacks if you want. If you have shoulder issues, just focus on that scapular retraction. This is probably, this will actually help your shoulders. Strengthen those postural muscles. All right, we'll just add a little torso twist here. Breathe. All right. So there's six exercises. And I'm just gonna demonstrate them. You're gonna use these two water bottles. Use weights if you want, or no weights. All right, so squat, curl, press. So imagine maybe you're picking up those suitcases, curl them, maybe use your legs and press them. All right, so we're gonna do approximately 10 reps or approximately 30 seconds of each exercise. Now I'm just gonna do one round today. Feel free to Replay the video and do two, three rounds, or just do it on your own, or take a break from what you're doing. Just get up and move, and it feels good. It's always good to try to aim for at least two days a week of strength training. It's good to get movement in every day. All right, next we're gonna go to that reverse squat. So tightening the core, working against gravity, Squeeze your shoulder blades together. So imagine there's a walnut between your scapula and back and crack that walnut. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Back to those jacks. You can do traveling jacks. triceps, row, and straight leg deadlift. Then we'll do a quick little stretch. All right, working against gravity, tricep kickbacks. Okay, let's 
let's do five more. Five, four, squeeze, two, one. All right, right into a row. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. uploaded a 10 minute body weight based workout with the same warm up. You could do that one and then this one and put them together and that might be a 15 minute workout for one round. Do it twice, it's a 30 minute more workout. All right, let's just do a few quick stretches and we'll call it a day. All right, unless you wanna go ahead and repeat this and do another round. So we're just doing a little torso twist. Let's add some side to side flexion. Up and over one side. Oh yeah, that feels good. The other side. And you could have your hands, the way I do, prisoner style, or up overhead. Longer lever point here. Okay, we're gonna get those hamstrings. I call this the standing splits. Maybe the feet a little wider. Hinge at the hips. Maybe you clasp your hands, lift up as you lower down, relax that head, the shoulders. Breathe. Hands right above the knees and round on up. Roll those shoulder blades back. All right, we'll get the quads. Do a standing quad stretch. Maybe you hold on to something. Tucking that pelvis, pushing the glute forward. Maybe I need to hold on to something. Hold on to your opposite ear. <laughs> Sometimes if you pick a focal point and stare at that, that helps with balance. All right, let's see if I do better on the other side. Oh, this is my tight side. Woo! Another option for the front of the legs is you could um, stand up pretty tall tuck that pelvis, slightly drop that back knee, face square, and you're getting the psoas stretch, anterior stretch in the front of the, the leg. You could even raise that same arm that leg is back up and over, get the obliques a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Tuck that pelvis. Push that glute forward, front knee over the ankle, or pull back slightly even. Breathe. What you don't want to do is have that weight going forward on that front leg. So real balance, shoulder width apart, hold on to something if you want. Maybe that arm up and over. Let's go ahead and uh, get our shoulders, bring one arm across, maybe rotate the wrist. So you're bringing that arm down and across. And then we'll go ahead and get the other side. Clasp the hands, get those forearm flexors, and then you could add some shoulder mobility. Pain-free range of motion. Breathe. Okay, let's finish off with 
I call this a sumo squat. You're getting your adductors sinking down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So breathe in and breathe out. Let's do one more. All right, give yourself a pat on the back and a hug. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day. And that was about another 10 minute video. There you go.